Hey everyone, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. This is probably a different looking video because I don't do a whole lot of uh, night filming. I'm trying out the new light on the side of the camera here. And uh, yeah, I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet later if you need some unlimited internet. There's a link in the video description, especially for you. I have a lot of uh, YouTube viewers and patrons ask me all the time what it's like at night well it's hard to capture luckily this lot has a lot of light now i'm starting this video for for reference just eight hours after my last video ended two days ago so this little spot with the mcdonald's over here the mcdonald's is open 24 hours my spot's really really quiet uh the cars that were parked where the rv kind of slots are they've all left all the cars that were here at the drugstore have all left and it's just really super quiet yeah Luckily for me, the uh, air conditioner or uh, heater unit there never never did kick on, so it, it's continued to stay quiet except for the uh, drive-through activity over there. And although this lot is pretty lit, here, I'll turn this light off real quick just so you can see, get a feel. It's, it's still pretty dark. I've got my little green turquoise lights on, but it's dark. It's quiet, it's, it's peaceful. I'm just cold. Tonight is a, a chilly night here in Springerville, Arizona. It's 37 degrees right now, that's why I grabbed my hoodie. I got the heater running in here, and actually, as a little bonus, like, okay, consider all the crazy things that have been going wrong or things I've been trying to fix that aren't easy to fix. How about something that magically fixed itself? You guys remember that horrible noise my furnace used to make, that noise constantly? It fixed itself and I have no idea why. That's my furnace running full blast. No squeaky bearings, just running smooth, blowing out hot, hot air there. Oh man, that's nice. Of course, I got my catalytic heater ready to go for the season too. I'm just storing it up here on the side of the driver's seat right now. I did test it out. It fired up the very first time after sitting for like, what, six, seven months? Yeah. But uh, Jax and I are gonna get some shut-eye and then you and I and Jax are all gonna leave Arizona tomorrow morning and head into New Mexico. So I'm excited about that. Where is the booger? You already know where he's at. He's right there. He, of course he's right there. Being a little goober goober. Ooh, it's really warm in here. That vent works good, huh? All right, say good night. We'll see you in the morning. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, yeah. I hit the spot. Just gonna pack up everything, bring the slide back in, drive off the levelers, and then we will be hitting the road here. I did cut my beard a little shorter than I'd like. I put the wrong guide in there. Oh well, it'll grow back, right? Just about ready to hit the road though. Looks like Jax is almost ready to go. Okay. Gotta get off the uh, leveling jacks though. Easy does it here. Now, we'll head east. Have some fun today. All right, well, goodbye, Arizona. It's been, it's been okay, actually. It's been okay. We're about 13 miles from our next state here. Now, because we're on this two-lane road, I'm not expecting a magical, huge, big, welcome to New Mexico. <laughs> uh, if we were on one of the main thoroughfares, possibly, actually, I think this is it. And you know what? There is nobody behind me. Welcome to New Mexico land of enchantment. Wonderful. So that was a big, pretty big sign though for a back road. However, anytime I get into a new state right now, I'm feeling very, very unsure about it because of the, the current situation, you know, everything going on right now. I was warned that New Mexico is gonna be a tough one for someone like me. We'll just stick to my theme. I am definitely going to be freestyling it today, 100%. And we'll make it through this together, okay? But I gotta stick to my about 80, 88 miles a day in order to make it to Texas, so that's my range. Okay. Hey, I think I see camper van Kevin's bright purple tiny house over there. Ah, that's it, it sure sticks out. <laughs> hey, we're slowing way down here. 
I think we're getting to a town finally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this huge cell tower off to our left. That's a nomad internet tower. Now it's AT&T. Still don't have any Verizon. But I do have internet right now on my phone. And we have traveled exactly 80 miles. Is this not a sign? I think we were supposed to stop here. If there's anything here. The gathering place. I'm really, really glad I stopped here in Pie Town, New Mexico. <laughs> Established 1940 Pie Town. I really want some pie and we may be able to get some because look, the gathering place, our burgers are cooked outside in the cleanest, freshest air in the USA. Lunch dinner specials. I really am craving some pie. I can smell a burger. I really do. And they're getting ready for some live music over there. This is the cafe, so that's where I'm gonna start. All right, my, my uh, burger order is in. I'm gonna be eating outside. This place is great. They've even got a little outdoor spot where you can eat with your pets in a fenced area here. And they are getting ready to do some live music. I met the entire staff here at the cafe. Incredibly friendly. I mean, some of the friendliest folks I've ever met on the road in my life. I'm gonna go find my seat in the shade and wait for the music to start. They've got barn kitties. Yeah. Hi there, little guys. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Just chilling here, huh? Okay. And Mr. Halloween Kitty here. Yep. All right, buddy. Life is rough. Okay. I cannot wipe this stupid smile off my face. I could never have expected this kind of friendliness, small town, welcome to New Mexico. I absolutely, you guys, you gotta stop in here at the gathering place. This is so cool in Pie Town. Sarah gave me a shirt, a Pie Town shirt, and uh, Mike and Janine that, that run the place just absolutely on the ball out there. I mean, what a, what a fun, quirky little stop. Guys, don't be afraid to talk to people when you come into new towns. I didn't even know where I was going to boondock. I got talking with Mike and he said, well, have you considered staying at our free campground a couple blocks up the road? Excuse me? What? what, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a free campground here in Pie Town, New Mexico. So I guess we're staying here. I got half a pie in the fridge ready to go. Those two kitties, well, three kitties, because you got the black kitties too. They, they all belong to the shop here. They belong to the place here. They have a nice, happy family. They are owned, all three of them. <laughs> we'll get you a brother, Jax, eventually. Or a sister, or a girlfriend, or whatever you need. Okay, eventually, okay? Okay, man, let's go, let's go find this free campground. Okay. This is the turn, folks. Right here is the free campground of Pie Town, New Mexico. Boy. I just can't stop smiling. It's just, it's hard for me to, it's the little things, you know? Like even Mike said, he's like, yeah, but I mean, there's, there's no hookups. There's no nothing. It's just dry camping. I'm like, bro, bro. I got solar. I'm good. A C sign off to the right here it says campground to our left. So we'll turn down here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fit. We're going to fit. And this says Jackson Park and Campground to the left. 
where that truck is at. Okay, we're gonna be good. Uh-oh, tight squeeze, tight squeeze. Suck it in, suck it in, suck it in. We're gonna hit, oh, we're gonna scratch. Oh, we're just tickling the sides. Just gotta tickle, 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 tickle. All right, where are we gonna camp here, Eric? We want solar, south is right there. So, if I pull into my little spot here, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. This is perfect. I actually backed up a little bit. I'm gonna use this tree right here as some shade because I don't need to run anything out here. I mean, I'll turn a fan on or something, but because I don't need solar, I mean, might as well just park a little bit in the shade, right? Yeah, got my own little tree here. Around the front of my RV. We've got a spot back here with something Jax will really appreciate. A picnic table to put his paws on. Just uh, snuggled in the trees here, folks. My satellite can even reach the uh, southern sky over there. <laughs> Man, what a good day. Do y'all feel like we needed this? <laughs> I say we, it's you, you're traveling with me. I mean, it's, I feel like, I feel like I was overdue just to, just to really feel good and camp and, you know, coming into New Mexico, now I, now I feel really confident about traveling through here. Um, I put on exactly how many miles I needed. So. Jeez. Jeez. Thanks for sharing the joy with me, guys. I'll uh, virtually share some of that pie with you. We'll just beam it right over to you. Did, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> you know, but now that I'm in New Mexico, a different state, I mean, it's just, it's a little different terrain and I need to keep an eye out. You know, I'm staying on what really looks like a, a road here on the dirt where I can see everything. However, if we go over here, we got, we got cactus. You do not want to step on that. How do I know? <laughs> because right next door you have this awesome one that... just put my foot right into this cactus. Didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. Come on. And you don't want to run over it either. So look, it's all over the place here. I got to watch Jax very, very carefully while we're outside. Uh, by the way, I never really addressed after I asked you guys about camera views and stuff like that, but this vlog was shot entirely with my Hero 7 dash cam and my good microphone because uh, it, it turns out my, my viewers prefer this to the, the blurred background effects. So um, I am happy to report that once I get to Texas here, maybe four or five days even, um, I went ahead and ordered that brand new GoPro 9 for the channel. I did. And I got the new media box coming because it's a new it's a new form factor in the GoPro with the front front facing screen and everything. So um yeah, I got something to look forward to in Texas, but still a few days out and um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because I, I want to enjoy nature and everything. Also, I've, I've been talking about weather and temperatures and stuff and it has been a glorious 75 degrees here in New Mexico in October. I could just stay here. No, got Lola Falooza. <laughs> so, so anyways, Jackson, I'll see you in two days with some more Looks like interesting stuff coming from New Mexico before we get into Texas. So um, stay tuned, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the channel. Jackson, I'll see you really, really soon. Bye, guys.